Who was your hero growing up? I remember a time when the most desirable item on earth for me was a Swiss Army knife. I mean, who wouldn't want to build a nuclear reactor with duct tape, some chewing gum and an old drum from a washing machine? Don't worry, I never partook in the MacGyver mullet. But boy was he cool! Heroes can have a huge impact and influence on us, let alone our kids. Think back to when the Spice Girls were big. Kids and youths were getting the same haircuts, wearing the same clothes and arguing over what spice is cooler. When we're growing up, we want to emulate our heroes, to look and act like them. But what do we do as parents to help our kids choose a good role model? Well, there are a few things that can help them. And the first thing is, if you can't keep ahead of the game, Keep up with it. When you hear them talking about someone lots, like a, a YouTuber or an actor or a singer, get onto Google. Check them out. It is much better to find out about the people that they look up to and think and talk about and what they say and, and the kind of things they do. As my computer studies teacher said when we did programming, garbage in, garbage out. Our kids like us absorb what we watch and do. The second thing is be proactive. By that we find people who are believers that can be positive heroes to our kids. Like many people, our daughter loved Bethany Hamilton's story. It captured her imagination. I mean, with a story like surviving a shark attack and continuing her dream of becoming a professional surfer, who wouldn't? But on top of that, she said it was her faith that gave her strength. There are tons of stories about people who follow Jesus and have made a big difference. One more thing we can do, and this one makes the biggest difference, is be their hero. Now before you go off and buy a superhero cape, remember as the Foo Fighters put it in their song Hero, they're ordinary. We can do something that makes such a huge difference to our kids. Do stuff with them. Now not just doing homework or doing something we want to do, but do the things that we would have liked our parents to do or did do with us when we were kids. Play with Lego, pass the rugby ball, take them for an ice cream occasionally, get them to teach you to play a song on the piano. We can be so busy trying to provide or do things for them, we can forget to be with them. Now we all know that parenting isn't a five minute thing. It's an amazing privilege but it's also a huge responsibility. And as C.S. Lewis put it, said, children aren't a distraction from more important jobs. They are the most important job. When you're shooting hoops or building Lego friends set with them, you'll find they open up. Our kids crave connection. It builds trust and can lower barriers. The more you, more you talk with them, and the more you do it, the more they'll talk with you. You're their parent. And we can't ever switch that off, and nor should we, by, by taking opportunities to engage with our kids. We can help shape who our kids' heroes are, and that they, and those heroes are a positive influence in our kids' faith. This is Donald from Faith Hacks.